Welcome back to another three minute tutorial. Today we're going to talk about color grading. This is a big subject with a lot of different facets to it, but in true 3MT fashion, I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to add some pop to your images with just a couple of easy things in Photoshop. Now, before we get started, let me remind you about my podcast. It's called Photobomb. I co-host it every week with my good friend, Boo Ray Perry, and I'll put a link to that and his YouTube channel in the description. So let's check into color grading using adjustment layers. Start the timer. For me, color grading is all about mood. This image has been retouched, it's finished how I like it, and I wanna create a mood by playing with the color. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna isolate my subjects from the background. So I'm gonna grab this quick selection tool, which is super useful right over here. You can also hit W to grab that. And then I'm going to use the select subject right up here. Now this is going to do a pretty good job. As you'll see, it'll grab the subjects pretty well, but it's going to miss things like his hat up there and a little bit under her chin. So what I'm going to do now is going to go around with this quick selection tool and using the alt or option key, you can actually adjust what's been uh, grabbed and make sure that you fine tune a little bit. So I'm going to go all the way around this image and I'm going to fix a few little things here and there so that we have a good selection of our subjects. I'm going to speed it up so you don't have to sit through the whole thing. Okay, now if you don't have that absolutely perfect, that's fine uh, because we'll be able to go through and kind of correct what we miss later, but try to get it as best you can. Now I'm gonna feather that selection by control clicking or right clicking, feather, and then I'm gonna feather it about five pixels just to soften up the edges for when we make this change. Now I want to select the background and the best way to do that is to just invert the selection by hitting Command Shift I on a Mac or Control Shift I on a PC. Now I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer over here in the black and white cookie. When you select an adjustment layer and you have something selected on your screen, it's gonna apply that adjustment layer only to what you have selected. So I'm gonna use the hue saturation control. And now as you can see from this mask that it automatically applies, that it's only going to affect the background. You can see the cutouts of them in there. So if I use this colorize button in this hue and saturation control, it's automatically gonna add color to that background and I can shift it all the way across here and I can add kind of any color I want. If I want it to be hot and sweaty, create that mood, I can make it really red over here and make that super saturated. But I wanna give it some cool tones to sort of play off the warm of their skin tones and control even the lightness of the background of that blue channel just by dragging that down a little bit. So now they really pop out and I've got a really cool dramatic blue background. Now that I've got the background, the color I wanted, I think that color grade looks really good. I wanna put an overall color grade on the image to sort of tie it all together. And a cool way to do that is using, in the adjustment layers, the color lookup. This is a really cool feature that's built into Photoshop that a lot of people don't know about, but it's got color grades and film simulations built into it. So I can select from a bunch of presets here, but the one I really like for this is the Fuji F125 Kodak 2395 film simulation. So this is gonna pull out the blacks and add an overall fade and a little bit of a warmth to the image. And as it is, it's a little, little too intense. So I'm gonna back that off to about 40%. And I think I'm gonna have what I want right there. Cool, so now I've got this really great finished looking movie poster kind of image. And I started with this. And after I've color graded in about two minutes worth of work, you can make it look like that. Pretty neat. That wasn't too difficult, right? Well, you can use selection tools and adjustment layers to do all kinds of cool things to your images. You just gotta use your imagination moving forward and expand on that idea. And I'll make some more videos about that in the future. Please like this video so the more people see it. Subscribe so that you get to see all the videos as I put them out and hit the little bell so that you get alerted the next time that I post a video. Don't forget about the Photobomb podcast. I'd love for you to listen to that. I really think that you'll like it. And thanks for watching the video. I'll see you next time.